The Assembly Committee for Education has just published its report into the Education and Training Inspectorate and the School Improvement Process. The committee inquiry was launched in response to proposals to increase the powers of the ETI and following concerns that some schools serving deprived areas or in particular sectors were not improving. The Education Committee decided to have an inquiry into the inspection process. Well, I think the committee is saying that we need to have a greater involvement with parents. I think that we're also saying that we should change the name of ETI, which is the Education Training Inspector, to the Northern Ireland Improvement Service. And I think that that sends out a message to, to everybody involved in the process, that this is not about just a very cold, arbitrary uh, look at facts and details in the school. One thing that we did clearly indicate during the inquiry was the professionalism of district inspectors and the inspectorate team. But I think that when you look at it from the school's perspective, there still is this concern, this fear element. And I think that those two elements have to be brought together in a way that gives schools and the inspectorate the confidence that this is about improving the outcomes. The committee is recommending a name change for the inspectorate to the Northern Ireland Education Improvement Service as well as legal independence from the department. Some people have expressed grave concern about the trajectory of the current inspectorate heading towards more of being an Ofsted type organisation. I think that what the committee wants to see is not going extremely to the right on that issue but getting a balance and the balance would be having uh, a legally independent inspectorate which could not only have a, an input into the improvement processes of our schools but also would be in a position to pass comment in relation to the policies which are set also by the department. I think that would give us an organisation which has confidence of staff, the inspectorate, parents, the assembly and the greater educational community and ultimately I believe that's to the benefit of our pupils in Northern Ireland. You can read the full report and find out more about the work of the committee on the Northern Ireland Assembly website.